It all boils down to sanctity of contracts. That's the opinion of some business experts on the issue of the government and the water concessionaires. Their advice, keep your head school. Maria Enriquez explains. An economist warns that the government's review on its concession agreement with the water service providers in Metro Manila can be very damaging to the country's economy and the government's reputation to would-be investors. It will send a signal to the world that our contracts are not being honored and that they can be swayed or, or, or changed or even nullified upon the moods of our politicians. This, is, this sends a very negative signal and could, uh, could potentially, uh, how do you call this, turn a lot of investors off. Masigan says this is something the Philippines cannot afford, especially now that we only have an 11.5% share of direct foreign investments in the ASEAN pie. He adds that our country may face bigger consequences in the future because of this review. Yuma credit rate rating agencies will begin to downgrade the Philippine uh, credit rating uh, score. At ang effect niyan is tataas ang interest rate natin sa atin mga debts, no? sa atin mga utang. In the end, baka mas malaki pa yung igagastos natin sa interest kesa sa 72 billion na yan. For Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry Chairman George Barcelon, the government and the two utility companies should sit down and try to reach an agreement. Huwag naman tayo magsyadong overreact. No? Because normal naman sa, sa business eh na minsan nakuroon ng kaso and both parties come and sit down and come to an agreement. Masigan echoed the sentiment. I think cooler heads should prevail. The president is uh, obviously being very vigilant about protecting the interests of the Filipino people, which I can understand. But then again, we have to understand that as far as the concessionaires are concerned, this is a business and their, their business, their concessions are governed by a contract. The 1997 water concession agreement is set to expire on 2022 but was extended for 15 more years or until 2037. This is also the deadline for the water companies to complete the sewage programs in Metro Manila in line with the Clean Water Act. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.